Praise God. My husband says hello. And Arise and Shine Community Church. And Arise and Shine Community Church says hello as well. They all say hi to you guys. I didn't, you know, move alone. She, she moved together with uh, Sean and I and the other woman. Praise God. God has brought us together with a pastor from Deje. We weren't born again, but she thanks God for the job that he has done in us. I am a lawyer by profession. But I'm, but I'm the pastor's interpreter as well. Praise God. There are all a lot of other guys out there. And I thank God for Gaba Community Church. Because during the lockdown, they did something amazing in us. We have great testimonies in Indeje. A lot of people were are, we are lacking during the lockdown. But through Africa Renewal Ministries and through the Massa Network Ministry as well, they used to help us and send us some food. And we did a mighty job there. And we thank God that our ministry is followed by works as well. And people have given their lives to Christ for what God has used us to so do there. So I thank God for Africa Renewal Ministries together with Gaba Community Church as well. Let us give our God a mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God has done so good to us so far. We went to Ndejo with nothing. Hallelujah. Actually, we came to this place, Gaba, when we are still renting. Praise God. And God blessed us from this place. We went and built a house in Ndejo. Praise God. The house that we built at first was so small for us. As you know that the ministers, your house has to be open to everybody. Because God brings people every, kind, every, every now and then. And the Bible tells us to always bring visitors in our homes. But we believed God for that because we saw that our house was so small. But in the, in the year 2020, God did a miracle for us. God did a miracle for us. So he blessed us. And we got a bigger house. Hallelujah. Because we, we, we love bringing people closer to us. Every Sunday at our home, we always have a party. Because we cook food for the ministers and all other people, they come and eat together with us. So to me, it's a blessing in my house. That's why I've told you what God has done for me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We love you so much, Gaba Community Church. And we thank God for our pastors as well. They made a very good name for us. And I thank God that we have not ashamed you guys as well. Hallelujah. Everywhere we go, we minister well and people are always happy so for that. So we always get opportunities from other people as so well. So I thank God that it was not a mistake. That was the moment. And we are growing slowly by slowly. In the name of our Lord Jesus. They gave me a theme yesterday but one. That we are going to stand in the book of Isaiah chapter 43. I think that everybody here has a Bible. Let us humble ourselves and pray. Good Lord, we want to thank you for tonight. You have given us a blessing to stand in this church. We thank you, God, that we are happy. Father, as we have come here today, we are seeking for your face. Father, we are seeking for you. Father, we want to see you tonight. Because, Father, I know that one thing, that whoever commits himself to seek you, they cannot live in vain. 
That's why I pray for your grace and your mighty power. As we stand before your people, Lord. Let our knowledge and understanding go away. Spirit of the Lord, take your glory. Spirit of the Lord, do in whatever way you like. The way that you prepare to work tonight. We thank you that since money they've been seeking for your face. And this entire week they are still seeking for your face. Father, let us continue to see you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And all of us say, Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us go to Isaiah 43. Verse 19. Are you guys there yet? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall yet not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and, in, and the rivers in the, in the desert. Hallelujah. The beast of the field shall honor me and the dragons and the wolves because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people my chosen I'm chosen from the Lord I'm chosen from God praise God the Bible has told us that behold I'm going to do a new thing that I'm going to do a new thing. It means that this is a prophetic word. It is in the future tense. The things that God are going to do that are new. God sees that you have been having old things in your life. You've been having an older mindset you. you are in certain situations and you thought that that situation cannot change. Or maybe that situation can change but your mindset is still in the old things. And God has seen you and is saying that I'm going to do a new thing. This is a prophetic word brethren that God is going to do a new thing upon our lives. Tell your neighbor that upon my life God is going to do a new thing. Praise God. When I was preparing this message, I saw it as steps. Because wherever it is going, there is victory. When you taking steps or a ladder from down, you go moving or stepping slowly. Then you reach up there where everybody wants to be. Because that is where our victory is. Praise God. God is telling us this word when he's promising us. It means that it is, a, it is in the promises of God. Praise Jesus. And my theme says, steps which helps us to receive God's promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most people, when God speaks, they, they, they stay seated down. Praise God. In their minds, they cannot be able to do anything. Because God has spoken, but that person has chosen to just sit down. But when God speaks, showing you the steps to move and reach your victory. Praise God. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. When God speaks that I'm going to do a new thing, He starts working, but He gives you the steps where you start so moving. So that you may be able to go where you're supposed to go. So that you may go into His promises. Praise God. Tell your neighbor that the promises of God, these are the ladders that help us to reach our victory. We step on those ladders as we go up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to the first step. 
personal relationship with him. Praise God. You as an individual you have to have a relationship. Most of the people we come together in church and we, we, and we raise up our hands as a pastor is teaching and we come for Bible study as well. Praise God. But as an individual, if you don't have a relationship with God, but God has given you a step today, start to get a relationship with Him. If that relationship had died, because He's saying that I'm going to do a new thing, and that is a new thing that He has brought unto you tonight. So make Put a relationship between you and God. Praise Jesus. Not the entire relationship with church. But you as an individual. You understand God. You can be able to to speak to God. Hallelujah. You can be able to communicate with your God. What I know about God. His word does not go back. His word does not go back to his mouth. So whenever his word comes, there is something that he needs. To do in your life. So God wants you to have a relationship with Him. Praise God. Tell your neighbor that God wants you to have a relationship with Him. Every time we have a relationship it with brings God, confidence. it brings confidence. Confidence in whatever that you do. When you have a relationship with God, it makes you to have that confidence. confidence. That whatever you do, because I'm in God, I have that confidence, it will come to manifest. Praise Jesus. If you have no relationship, whatever you do, you have a certain fear that comes over you. Whatever you want to start, you have a certain fear. Whatever step you want to take, you have a fear in you. Because you have no relationship. But when there is a relationship with God, you move and step and step and step. Praise God. God is doing a new thing. But he wants us to have a relationship upon our lives. Praise God. There is a man called Nehemiah. One day he felt he was hurt when Jerusalem wanted to be built because the, the city had fallen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he built a relationship with God. He started praying to God. And his heart was so hard. Why do you think his heart hurts? Because he was had a relationship with God. So he went before God. And God accepted him. He went before the king. And the king accepted him as well. So he entered the city. And God brought provisions. And he started building. In the midst of building. And enemies rose up against him. Praise Jesus. He said that in the midst of building that city. Our enemies arise. Even though those things were there, he had a relationship with God. He prayed and told God. And God told him that bring guards on the city. It doesn't matter whether the enemies are there. But because there is a relationship with God, he listened to the voice of God and went ahead with the ministry of God. Tonight, God is making you to arise. That arise. Because there is a new relationship that he wants. That arise. And you stop taking your steps. When you start taking those steps, you don't just step on and step on and step. No. You can't just be like, let me take a step and miss another step and take another step. Praise God. You take a step and the other step. Even though there is pain when you take those steps. But because you have a relationship with God, when people see you out on the outside, when the church cannot be able to move, when you get a hold, we're getting hold of the Bible every day. That we're not seeing what is happening. But because you have a relationship, you get the energy to move forward. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor that they have to put a relationship. Me as an individual with my God. Praise God. The people that put a relationship with God, they cannot fail. We went to Ndeja and everybody was saying that we shall not be able to manage because there's a lot of witchcraft. And indeed, the witchcraft was there. 
and where, and where God put us, there's a lot of witchcraft that was being made. Hallelujah. But we never had any money. But we had a relationship. We had a blessing from home. Our pastors were backing us because they also have a relationship. Praise God. And God started doing his work. And even today, Father, we are there. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Enemies, we are so many. Because the way God is doing his things, it is on a massive speed. That Maggie goes to the sea. Those people are illuminati. And you are like, even though those ones are being saved. But because you have a relationship with God. Because all the time we go before him and we speak. We go before him and we pray. We go before him and we communicate. But when you have confidence in us. And he says that we shall be able to make Because where we are going. There is victory ahead of us. Praise Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the enemy knew when God starts a work that God that created the heavens and the earth when he starts something when he starts and he also stand on that he starts working and he starts working things grow step by step and things change as well in the name of our Lord Jesus hallelujah Nehemiah 4 verse 9 hallelujah verse 9 hallelujah the very first point hallelujah prayer brings confidence in Ephesians 3 verse 12 Prayer brings confession. Confession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know that we are in the world. There are a lot of things that are happening today. We are in this world, but we are not part of, we're, no, but we not of the world. But sometimes maybe we sleep. A bit. But when you have a relationship with God, you confess. all the time we are in the world. If you don't have a relationship with God, you cannot confess before Him. Hallelujah. I am talking about a person that is sitting out there. I'm talking about the steps that God takes you to reach His victory. Because this is what God is going to do is in the promises. Thing, prophetic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is doing it. It may do tomorrow or next year or this year, but it is in the promises of God. Praise God. So what helps us to move in those promises? We have to take certain steps. So one, one of the steps is you, you, when you have a relationship with God, you start confessing before him. How many, how many of you are here? You'll be like, Pastor, me, I cannot even make a mistake. For example, you're coming here, maybe somebody angered you. Or your family, or maybe your children. Or maybe the young people at school. So we walk in those things each and every day. But when you have a relationship with God, it helps us to confess all the time. That Father, I've done such and such a thing. Forgive me. That Father, I'm sorry. Because it is also a step that takes us there. You cannot step and reach there without confessing before God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 51. Right. Zaburi ya tano mwe. I know that people in this place, you are a people of the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Matthew 6, verse 12. Matthew 6, verse 12. Please. Matthew 6, verse 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Say that we are winners. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hallelujah. When you have a relationship with God, you start talking and tell him that, Father, forgive me. That, Father, do not lead me into temptation. Hallelujah day-to-day life. When you don't have a relationship, you not be able to do that. But when you have a relationship, you have to do it. Hallelujah. And it helps you go to listen to your prayers because it is also a promise. Hallelujah. Let us not forget that as children of God. So what, what brings that to be in our lives? Because you have put a relationship with God. Hallelujah. A personal relationship brings obedience. That is also a step, brethren. When you are when you're obedient to God. Hallelujah. There's also being obedient to your leaders as well. Hallelujah. There's also being obedient to our parents. Just being obedient to the government. There's being obedient to the LC chairman. There's being obedient to our bosses. Most born again people be like, me, I'm obedient to God only. You understand what I'm saying? When they say something to you, be like me, I'm obedient only God. If you're obedient to God, you have to be obedient to everybody that God has put before you. Even your boss, when you're obedient to your boss, it means that you're also obedient to God. Even though you have you know, those very many degrees, but to your boss, you'll be like, Igwe, Papa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever need be, you have to be obedient. You have to let your heart be obedient to God. I thank God the time that I spent at Gaba Community Church. I was obedient to every spiritual leader that was in this place. They can't be able to be like Maggie did this or that. Because I know that they are ministers of God. God has put them in this place to lead me. Me, to guide me. Because there are things that God wants me to reach at. But you cannot reach at those things without being obedient to God. So tell your neighbor that being obedient to God, praise God. relationship brings obedience to God. Hallelujah. We be obedient to God. We be obedient to our leaders. Even, uh, even the wives will be obedient to our husbands. Whether your husband is a drunkard, just be obedient to him. When you, if you bet God you because of your husband, husband, season shall come when you have a testimony. Because that is a step as well. For what God is going to do for you. Because he has said that I'm going to do a new thing, shall you not see it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Most of the time we talk about the good things. God speaks generally at our workplaces in the ministry that you're in. Do you understand what I'm saying? Praise Jesus. You will see the new thing that I'm going to do. They shall see, you're not obedient, now you're obedient. We'll be like that God has done something in you. That God has, has a new thing. That he or she has left the old things. Do you understand what I'm saying? They say that Remember not the former things. The bad behaviors. The disobedience. Now you have left those things and you're entering a new thing. And you, and you pass through those steps to reach at that victory. But this is a prophecy. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, to sum it up, Jeremiah seven verse twenty three. Concerning burnt offering or sacrifices, 
but this thing commanded them, I, I, I command, but this thing commanded I them, saying, obey my voice, and I'll, I'll be your God, and you shall be my people. Understand that. And walk here in all the ways that I have commanded you, you, that it may be well unto you. You understand what I'm saying? Just being obedient, just a step and things change in our life. Hallelujah. They have small testimony. About that. It was not easy. My husband to receive Christ in his life, it wasn't something ah. easy. Somebody that was in the music world. <laughs> what are you going to give that person? But being obedient to God. And I was obedient <laughs> to my husband. <laughs> Even though I was a prayer warrior. <laughs> I'm a prayer warrior. <laughs> but I used to be obedient to my husband. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> I thank God that today we minister together with him. Praise God. God. Whatever he does, I cannot be able to manage. He woke up in the morning. We have a billboard to do. When we were building, he did almost everything. He did almost everything. But because I was obedient to God, praise God. And I was, I was also obedient to my husband. I wasn't, I wasn't like me, I'm only obedient what to God. You understand what I'm saying? You have prayed, you have not allowed you to move. But to be like I'm going to First be obedient to your boss. In fact, if you're obedient to God, he will touch your boss to let you go. You come and minister to God. And you have peace at your, at your workplace. And then the blessing of the Lord shall be upon your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Personal relationship brings obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. All those points are embedded in one, in one step. Let's go to another to a second Waiting point. Waiting upon the Lord. Tell your neighbor to Waiting upon the Lord. Now most of us there. Question marks. That waiting upon the Lord. That is also another step. When God helps you and you get further that step. You, you, are, you are done. Waiting. <laughs> What I'm saying, that is going to do those one, things one, there. One. But here, one, one, one. that here now, yeah. from there to here, you see it as a simple thing, but it's not a simple thing in the spiritual world. Praise Jesus. But we have, if you have a relationship with God, you can be able to wait for God. Because you don't want to make God angry or move in the unrighteousness. So in the midst of waiting upon the Lord, that's where we, 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 we backslide. In the midst of waiting for the Lord, most people... You know, but in the midst of waiting for the Lord, that is where that a lot of testimony is. Where there is waiting for the Lord, that is where life is. In the in, in the eyes of the, of the world, it is difficult. But in the, in the spiritual world, tell your neighbor that ranks <laughs> upon you. One day I, I was leaving home. Try to we, we were staying somewhere in, in the in somewhere called Chiwempe. And I told myself that I'm, I'm tired of waiting. The shoe I had was so bad. But the person that sees you thinks that you're okay. So when I was tired in the city, I was living to church in the lunch hour. I was a pastor, but I was tired. Of, I was tired for waiting upon the Lord. But when the pastor started preaching, and he said that God has called some of you are your canoes, but you want to backslide and become sergeants. I was tired then and I started moving slowly. 
in pain. I went, I, I went in front and was like, Father, you me. Not because that we never wanted to work. Not because we were not. But things had refused. God wanted us to wait for him so that he may work in the, the right time. God wanted to do something in me. So can, I can be a woman that is faithful to him. If you, if you did pass somewhere, you cannot be able to stand in that place. But because you pass somewhere, you'll be like, Father, if he come, he's going to make me pass through this as well. Praise God. But if you didn't pass somewhere, you cannot understand. You'll be calling Father. You'll be like, Dad. You'll be like, we are dying, people. You are dying. We don't know if we shall be able to overcome. Or maybe, or maybe the people that can be able to manage, they should come and trust and come back aside. You understand what I'm saying? If you cannot wait upon the Lord, you cannot see victory in your life. You cannot reach the promises of God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, went, I passed through a lot of situations. We have seen situations. But we thank God because we have waited upon him. him. But in a few years we have seen God. God had brought everything that the locusts had Jesus. That's where restoration comes in. You understand what I'm saying? You have passed in a lot of tests. But God wants you to wait upon him. So that you can testify for the people. So that you can be able to stand. He has, he has stood on behalf of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor that we have to learn how to wait upon the Lord. I also got an example. For example, a person that goes to school. When we are beginning in school, we start from, from the lower classes. Hallelujah. I seen a child that is promoted just like step. This pupil or child starts in steps. And every child does not want to promote their children just like that. Who is the parent to understand that if the child misses those steps, they shall not see a good thing. It means that that child has a you, you put money in, the, in that child. You start you know, going to school from baby class. You grow and grow. Hallelujah. You also get a vacation somewhere. You go ahead with your studies. You're waiting for something in front. In, in ahead of you. Praise Jesus. What surprises me? They cannot put you in another class without you doing a test. The Bible tells us that the things of the, this world teach us the things of heaven. I don't know what kind of thing is, but I am encouraging you that stick to me yourself. That stick to Jesus. You shall reach there in the name of Jesus. The seasons are there. Students go to school at 6 in the morning. They give them posho and beans, even if they have posho sometimes. But, they but because, they have a, 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 because they have a dream, they commit themselves. And they leave everything else. Because they have, they have, they have a goal. God is speaking to you tonight. I don't know what kind of class you're in. But the Holy Spirit is telling me that go ahead and stick to Jesus. Go ahead and wait for the Lord. Your season shall come in the name of our Lord Jesus. You don't have to wait for it. It doesn't matter whether people go there before us. Tell your neighbor that I'm coming because I'm going to stick to my season. If my season God is coming, God is going to show me victory in the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That Jesus is so nice, especially if you're waiting upon Him. 
there and Nino shout for Jesus. When the fire is burning deep inside. But I was like, Jesus, I'm not letting mm. you go. You have my things. I want to see that Jesus new thing. Chichar- it's a future tense. Chamumaso. Hallelujah. We are not going to say that it's coming right now. If it's coming now, right now, thanks to God. If it's coming tomorrow, thanks to God. If it's coming in five years, thanks to Jesus. We are sticking to our Lord Jesus. Because in whatever the, what we want, to come to be able to fulfill his word. Jesus walked in that fire throughout his entire ministry. But where where is he now? That's where all of us want to go. Let us also stand. Our seasons are coming. When there is victory in the name of Jesus. Waiting upon the Lord. Psalms 40. Waited, waited. Patiently. I don't know what, which class are you in now. You spend an entire year in the, cla- in the same class. Step na yo. That is also a step. Isn't it? I waited patiently. I waited for my God. Not people. Tell your neighbor that not people but God. But I waited. Don't you think that he had a family? Did he have friends? He had friends as well. He had a family as well. But he waited patiently for the Lord. Praise Jesus. And he inclined in me, eh? And to me, and had my cry. It means that this person committed himself for him. When he was seeing only God, we, we love a husband. Yes. But if he hasn't given you, just don't don't worry yourself. If you abandon your husband and you go to somebody else, go back to your husband. Tell your neighbor that go back patiently for Seasons are coming. Praise Jesus that I have left this family. God is going to give you, is God going, going to give you another family that I have left this church because I have, things have delayed. Even they are in church, they are also waiting for the Lord. Sit where you are. Wait for the Lord. He has your things. <laughs> With the born again, we have come now to be a remover. John Adu can again or is a Kusanga Munanga. Where you shall run and go, you may not manage those things. But if you get to know that it is the Lord that has brought me in this place, when, they, when there is a prayer session, you shall come. Hallelujah. 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 You shall tell God everything. Who gave his life for you? It is God. Who gave you salvation? It is God. Who works in our lives? Who saves us? Who makes a new thing? So why don't you leave people alone? Leave people alone. I waited patiently for the Lord. Tell you never that wait, learn how to wait for the Lord. That is also a step. People have jobs, they start getting earning little money. 
Praise Jesus. Maybe you can start with 50,000. But when you're faithful, you increase the salary. But stay there when you're praying for them as well. Because also your seasons are coming. And wherever God puts you, please pray. You pray for them as you wait as well. Seasons shall come when that is no longer a situation. When things have changed because you have waited for the Lord. Even as an indigent, we are not looking at people. We love them, yes. That so and so has not given me, so and so doesn't have me. Somebody can not be like, Pastor called me when she is expecting something from me. I'm part of the team at church. But I know. She teaches us not to be angry at people. Let us wait upon the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We wait upon the Lord. And when you come to Ndeje, you cannot hear somebody say that that pastor you understand what I'm saying? I don't know what, which class you're in now. The class I'm in, I overcome it in the name of Jesus. When you look at people, you're going to leave God. Even the promise that God has promised you may not be able to reach. Even the relationship shall not be there. But whenever you have a relationship, when you have God, whenever you go before him, you'll be like, Father, what are we going to do now? That now rent is disturbing him. That I've worked for my bosses for a lot of years. But Father, make a way for me. Then God listens. God, when God wants now. Because that is what that he wants. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why he is there for us. Let us wait for him. Praise Jesus. Uh, he brought me up also out of an horrible pit. Out of the mirror. May I recreate and set my feet upon a rock. And establish my goings. And he had put a new song in my mouth. Praise Jesus. Those are the promises that God wants to give us. But, but they come from a step of waiting of a relationship. If it is strengthened, things change. Simple. As simple as that. God is going to give us a new song upon our lives. God is going to change. I want God to change our mindset. I, I always pray for us as the body of Christ that Father change our mindset. Because what we think is what we become. But when our mindset changes and we see that it is we can be able to overcome. It is going to be able to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Even, even though they prophesy upon your life, you're going to go back and cry. That the pastor told us to fast. Then we fasted, then we fasted again. But I don't see a difference. You're not going to see a difference. But if you get to know that the, the difference is coming, that difference is going to come in the name of Jesus. You're going to move from the and you start doing something. Then you shall see how God exalts himself in your life. Then you shall see the victory in your life. Then you shall see a difference in your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray now. I'm, also, I'm good at keeping time. You can clap, you can clap for me as well. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Thank you, my pastor, so much for this opportunity that you guys have given me. We are going to pray. But there's a song on my heart. I want us to sing that song, then we pray. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Temulichi wa 